Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about remote desktop services and in the next video we will actually enable this feature in Windows Server 2022 but in this video we are just going to discuss that what we have here in Win uh, remote desktop services. So this is actually an, a component of Microsoft Windows operating system and this is used to enable remote desktop functionality in the server machines like here and this can be any computer with windows operating system and uh, they can provide desktop functionalities for example users from from this computer they can actually access this this is this main functionality here and uh, we can have multiple users from multiple computers they can access the same uh, server enabled or, or configured with rds and uh, and then on that computer we have we can have different roles uh, so roles are basically used to manage specific functionalities of of operating system or computers let's say so it in rds we have different roles and if we enable these di different roles they will be providing different kind of functionality so first of all the very first role we are going to discuss is about remote desktop session host rdsh so let me first clear this. So RDSH is we enable this RDSH, which we can enable like in Windows Server 2022. So when we enable it, it, it allows us the, the hosting of Windows based programs or maybe full Windows desktop. So we can have some specific program which we can share, some specific program, or we can even share the desktop itself, which will be kind of computer they can access these users as a client machine they can access the desktop they will be feeling like they are really using this computer but they will be using it remotely so this is something which can be provided by remote desktop session host when we enable this uh, role on our server machine and this will allow actually multiple users to log into the server so like many users sorry many users can actually access this server and now we have uh, the next, uh, the second role that is rem remote desktop gateway. So remote ga uh, desktop gateway is a role which enables authorized users to connect securely over the internet. So for example here, again the functionality is same that they will allow remote user, remote means they are at a distance. So they can allow remote user and uh, the remote gateway will allow these remote users to access this server remotely over internet and they will be providing this secure communication it means they will have some https or ssl configured okay so that is the second role and uh, this oh uh, yes rd this supports RDP, this is basically remote desktop protocol and this is used over HTTPS, the secure version of HTTP. And the third role which we are going to discuss here is remote desktop virtualization host, RD virtualization host. So if we enable this role, then this role will allow users to connect with virtual desktops running on a Hyper-V host. So in this case, actually Hyper-V is used to provide virtual desktop. Virtual desktop means they will have access to a computer, like whatever we have here. So that computer, that will be accessed by this user remotely. So that is remote, virtual, remote desktop virtualization host. And now the second, oh sorry, the next role which we are going to discuss is, is a remote desktop connection broker. That's interesting. In this case, it says that we can have multiple uh, servers with remote desktop session host. They can be acting as RD as such. And now, if we want, if there there can be multiple users here also, they they would uh, like they will be accessing them all. And if we want to share the load among these uh, server machines, then we can do it. And if there is any disconnection of the session. Like and if session is established and session is being disconnected, then this allows sessions to be reconnected. And that is provided by remote desktop connection broker. Okay, the next uh, role is remote desktop web access. So web access, th uh, this is actually a web based portal and by which we can access virtual desktops, we can access session based desktop of remote apps through a web browsers. Only thing is that, 
using web browser we can access these these server machines and in addition to that we have some more features which we are going to discuss is remote app so remote app is any individual windows based program that can be used remotely so they can be like there are some remote application programs which you can access remotely as if they are installed on your own computer even though they will not be installed on your computer they will be here somewhere here but you can access them remotely and that is uh, a feature that is remote app and the second thing is if this allows multiple users to log in and use the same server simultaneously and so this is one more feature multi-user experience and that was actually really clear from the previous discussion as well and then yes remote desktop services they can be integrated or they are integrated with active directory microsoft active directory services and that that active directory can be used for authentication purpose for example who who can access it sorry who can access it who cannot access it for that they can in, they can give services on the basis of uh, authentication from active directory so that can be used for authentication authorization and management these are some things we have here in remote desktop services and um, yeah so brief discussion about that in the next video i'll try to enable these roles on a windows server 2022 thank you